Now to a story that's affecting all of us. Every day, airlines are canceling an unprecedented, unprecedented number of uh, flights because of, uh, well, safety hazards, to tell the truth, associated with Boeing 737 MAX 800. Uh, we were told that the flight cancellations, which are as high as 115 flights a day for one airline, American, uh, not to mention a couple of other airlines that are having similar problems. We were originally told, look, this is not going to last very long. We're going to get this fixed, and then everything will be copacetic, right? That Boeing just needed to issue a quick update to its plane's uh, software. Notice the use of the word soft, which makes it seem like a soft repair. Bull. <laughs> now reports from airlines like uh, American and Southwest and United indicate that the planes still aren't ready and that they now may not be ready until sometime in the year 2020. Look at these pictures. Look at the stuff that's going. See that plane? <laughs> see that? See the cars? Okay, here's what's weird about this. That's Boeing's parking lot for employees. So they've had to tell the employees, don't park your cars in the parking lot. We don't have enough room for our planes that nobody wants. So we're now going to take those planes and we're going to instead put those planes in the parking lot. Can you believe this? Those are all Boeing 737s piling up. So much so the company's actually been forced to use their own parking lot for employees to, to, as a place to just park the inoperable. They don't have a place to put these things. <sighs> Joining us now to talk about this mess and how it's going to continue is Jamie Finch, former director of uh, government and family and public affairs for the National Transportation Safety Board, or as those of us who've been reporting on plane crashes all our life, the NTSB. Well, Jamie, thanks for being with us once again. Sure, thank you. Kudos to you. You made the prediction. The last time you were on the show, you said, uh, I think you said, don't expect them to be ready when they say they're going to be ready. Right, right, right. We, we, we'd already busted through two or three deadlines on that. Right. And uh, why, why wouldn't we bust, bust through this last one, uh, which, is, which was going to be October. Now it looks like it's going to be November. It's going to be the, the first of the year. It's going to be the end of the year. It is crazy. And, and, and it's, it's so unpredictable for the airlines. Well, the scariest thing is, is yeah. uh, United is now buying used 737s. Oh, great. To replace and, and fill in the gaps where the the, the max was going to go hey, in. Hey, should I be concerned as a flyer? I mean, uh -huh. you get most Americans nowadays they get on a plane from time to time. Sure. Should I be worried about these things? I mean, on uh, on the aircraft and the yeah, health? the safety of planes in America no, right no, now, no. based on the fact that they're getting old planes and putting spare parts in them to keep them flying. Well, no, no. I, quite honestly, no. Okay. Uh, I, I don't have any problem with the the safety of the the air, airworthiness of the aircraft. I will say that. Um, you know, any, anything's going to wear out. Yeah. But with a with an aircraft, they basically go in and they do what's called a sea check, and they they strip the plane completely, and then they rebuild it. So it's it, these planes have been rebuilt multiple times. They're not that's not the original plane when you see it. Speaking of safety, I, I probably would be remiss if I don't ask you about this. But sure. apparently, Boeing just announced a couple of hours ago mm -hmm. that they're going to give 50 million dollars per plane passengers for the planes that crashed. $50 million total for all of the passengers? For, what, would, well, that's all. Well, here's the thing. In other words, for the, if, to compensate them for their deaths, yeah, well, for their families. Here, here's, here's, the, here's the problem with this I have with it. Uh, just last week, they were announcing that they were giving, making this $100 million uh, mm -hmm. fund, and now all of a sudden they're talking about $50 million. Now, even though it, they might be uh, Splitting it up in some kind of way. Yeah, because there were two crashes, or maybe they're going to say 50 million for the Indonesia crash and 50 million for the other yeah, crash. Yeah, but then if you read through some of the details, and there aren't a lot of details, but what details we do have, it just says uh, they're going to be giving it to government agencies and other community organizations <laughs> to distribute the money. They have so many hands in the till here that there's not going to be anything left for the families by the time they get there, and they're and they're delivering the services for them. They're not they're, they're not going to be there. Uh, uh, they're giving them the checks that they need to pay their mortgages, their rent, whatever, food for the kids, whatever they may need. You texted me something last night that I thought was interesting where you said that you had found that some European airliners are now thinking about rebranding their right. planes. Right, right. What? Yeah. Well, uh, we, we they changed the name of the plane because they don't want people to know it's actually the the 737 Max. The, seriously? <laughs> yeah. No. No. Seriously. Uh, there has been rumors going circulating that Boeing's just going to have to to uh, rebrand this entire aircraft. Oh God. Um, and now we see hard evidence that uh, in two ways. Number one, the online uh, the online uh, travel agencies like like uh, Kayak and those kinds, they have already started uh, in putting in a uh, a button within their 
their their website where you can click click to to deselect a type of aircraft that's that's uh, in their their lineup. So you won't questionable be, airplanes. Yeah, or, or ones that, one that you're not comfortable flying. So oh you're, they're already opting out there, huh. and and the airline where which is Ryanair is one of the uh, European ones. That's, uh, which is the third largest by, by volume, seat volume, in the world. Um, they, are, they are already uh, trying to get, get, get ahead of it because they know that people aren't, people aren't going to fly our planes. Oh and so God. even after these airlines get the planes, the, the aircraft is, is made air, Even uh, after the fix is done. After the fix is done <laughs> and it's been named as, as, and, and made airworthy uh, and the certificates are, uh, have been distributed. Then they will. Uh, then they're, they're going to be facing the battle with the public, with a marketing nightmare. Right, because yeah. nobody's going to want to fly them. You're a great guest. Thank you. And you look very dapper today. <laughs> Thank you, Jamie. Thank you. So you haven't heard that we're the ones covering the stories that you won't see covered anywhere else in Venezuela, Kazakhstan. Let's go to Hong Kong. And the media reaction to that has been. Crickets. How about the way we cover those stories? What the hell does that mean? Wally, Wally, Wally. That's the key word in this case, uprising. Keep? Can you believe that? Watch it. This is the right thing for members of the media to do, to actually pick sides. Look, if you like what you see, subscribe.